on today's episode, Ross and I have decided to start the largest project we've ever been a part of. Seated in a fairly well defended area, we have decided to build a medieval castle, as well as a village and a reliable trade network nearby. It's going to have a mine, as I said a castle, and a lot of other stuff that we haven't completely decided on yet. Let's become lords! Let's become it lords. It starts with our first traitor. <laughs> So, As is with medieval times, the tragedy of death and famine all around. Yeah, so, uh, Let's begin. Now that that, <laughs> now that, that wandering trader's out of the way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, currently, um, we have set up what a nothing except a uh, another portal and a little bit of a mine here. The the mine is actually hand dug down to a certain point. Right here is where it stops being hand dug, but. We're hoping to incorporate this as part of the actual build, and we're going for almost 100% aesthetics on this. Like, anything that I end up building that's not aesthetically pleasing will be completely hidden away. Uh, that's the hope, at least. Yeah. The idea is that some king decided that he wanted to uh, build a castle here because it's easily defendable. There's only one real way up and it's over that way along a narrow land bridge. And he wanted to keep an eye on this pillager outpost over here. You alright there, Ross? Oh. Uh, mm, uh, hold on. So what is going see. on with the server um, right now? I don't know. You're frozen in the air and I have nothing in my inventory. You're frozen in the air too. Oh. And I'm hey, like sliding along there. the ground. No there we go. kicked again. Was forcibly closed by the remote host. That's me! Huh. Maybe I should re-log. Yeah, because it's kicking me for flying. Alright, so Ross is currently stuck, unable to get into the world because he spawns in midair and the game thinks he's flying and keeps kicking him again. So I'm willing to try and put some blocks under his feet. Betrayed by my own Oh, server. he just moved. Uh, here, log back in again real quick. Don't remember where you were. Okay, there we go. Okay, try now. Okay, now you're... Okay. Well, now your feet are at least in the ground. And <laughs> that's one step towards on it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hey! Maybe. Am I on the... I don't have anything. Yeah, you're walking around. Uh, I see Yay! the items in your inventory. Cool. I'm alive. <laughs> well, that was interesting. God, that was scary. <laughs> you know, being suspended in midair, <laughs> twinkling between existence and non-existence. Now you know how Schrodinger's cat feels. <laughs> oh god. So, first order of business, oh. do you want to start leveling this down a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'd say that's probably big enough. Yeah, it should be plenty big for at least the main part of the castle. Alright, this is the layout as it currently stands. We're thinking a staircase there that leads... <laughs> my goodness, I can't... <laughs> okay, so a staircase there that leads up to the next level. We tried to blend it into the surrounding areas, but it uh, came out with a rather odd shape. Oh dear, not this again. Looking at this from above, it looks so goofy. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to look great once we have the towers in, I bet. I, I am also going to work off of that assumption. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a little section there for me to put some redstone to get up to the second layer and to put like a super smelter in the kitchen area here. There's a door that comes off of the servants area, or comes off the kitchen and goes down some stairs into a cramped little basement that we haven't built yet. I'm gonna put uh, like food storage and servants quarters down there. Then we've got a door on every one of the towers. We've got this kind of idea for a grand gate at the beginning. And then we've got the uh, throne and big table room here. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't this going to be like a minor gate? Or kind of like a back entrance, maybe? Uh, we were toying oh, around with that oh, idea. Right. I'm not sure if we decided on it or not. I have no idea what this is going to be, but it, just, it looks like it should be something. Yeah, maybe a side entrance that's not like a grand gate, but a door that can be barred if need be. 
Alright, now. And then we were going to put a big stained glass window right here. And mm -hmm. behind the king's throne, a little secret passage. We're not supposed to tell him about that. That's supposed to be like a cold reveal. Oh, shush. <laughs> it is! This is how we make the movies. The movies? Yes, the movies. Uh, sorry, we're not getting any any for this. The YouTubies. <laughs> what the f was that laugh, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't hurt me. Dude, I punched you! Don't hit me with your fucking sword! <laughs> you maniac, no, uh, I gotta find my food. Okay, so I just took a break for dinner and came back and Ross is apparently having a bit of trouble there. Uh, okay, so I killed a raid leader, got the effect that, uh, I got the bad omen effect that triggers a raid when you walk into a village, walked into my base that has villagers, and immediately triggered a raid. I beat off the first, like, two waves, <laughs> Phrasing. <maybe? laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I forgot that... I don't remember their names. Uh, the <clears throat> ones with the axe. When they hit a shield, you can't use it for a second. So... I tried to block another one directly after that, and I did not do it successfully. And now I'm wading through the nether from that spawn point that we set at the project. I have a courtyard of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit of a, uh, that's a bit of an oversight. Oh no. Oh, big beast. And the crossbow. Oh, I don't like either of those. Coming through. Oh, I miss my stuff. I can see it from here. Okay. I am I'm gonna get... coming out of the potion room now if I can hit the fucking buttons. Oh my gosh. I know, lag. I'm, I'm sorry. No, uh, it's more than I'm, like, missing. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, hi. Oh, not him. Yeah, him. Keep his attention. Yes, thank you. Oh, incoming. Better fucking not be. Okay. He looks oh, like he might be shield. stuck. Got him. The ah, one I see. next to the wall across it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I could not have done this without you. Oh, hi there. Okay. They're inside the wall. They're right. outside. One of the two. Oh, oh shit! Awesome. Oh right, I forgot. That about was that. a that was a vindicator. Did he spawn yeah, any of X? Yes, he did. Shit. Yeah, he did. We'll go to creeper. Watch out. X, gonna give it to you. <laughs> Fuck! Wait for you to get oh, it. Oh shit! On I gotta get out of here. Okay, I was at one heart and I didn't notice. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, the Vex are really strong. Yeah, I hate Vex. So much. Oh shit. I I need to go to my villagers. Ah, fuck. Oh shit. Oh, well, I'm back at the castle. Get inside. That's fine, I should be able to take it. Uh, how did you get there without wings? Uh, a lot of hope. No! I'm so low on health! Oh my god, fuck Vexes! I hate them, I hate them, I hate them! They're so uh -huh. strong! They're so strong! Yep. Oh, I am trying to grab your stuff. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Thought I could happen. make it. I'm gonna grab some apples out of one of these chests real quick. Cause I'm gonna need it to heal on the way over. That's smart, I didn't think of that. Oh, they took down one of my armor stands. How'd they do that? I don't know. Uh, maybe a crossbowman? Yeah, maybe. Perhaps it would behoove us to get some, uh, milk buckets set up back at the base. Milk. Look at him. He's a banner guy. And he can't hit you. That might actually just be a good thing to just leave in the base. Yeah. <laughs> this is Carl. 
He uh. Do we have a name tag anywhere? He's the in. He's the innkeeper. I probably do, but I'd save that for later. Follow me for your shoes. Ah, right. You said in the storage room. Yes. Oh yeah. By the way, I got okay. a new skin. I just uh. Ross was remaking his skin, so we kind of both decided to make our own. Yeah. <laughs> and now you can like you can do all the stuffs with your skin. Dude, make a medieval outfit for your guy. Do it. Eventually, yes. Oh man, armor looks so janky with this. <laughs> it's just the I smile. can't see! <laughs> I look like this soldier from TF2. Perfect. But like, oh. a clown. Oh. You're I'm invisible skin, through your name tag when you're crouching. You crouch. I'm not invisible through your name tag. Are you using shaders? No. <laughs> Hide and seek in the castle is gonna be great. I found the perfect spot. <laughs> that would be something for us to get all of us on together for to play. Uh, dude, we should fucking we should do that. And like every five minutes, we have to like launch a firework in the air to kind of telegraph our position. And this is like a town wide. Yeah, yeah. hide and seek thing. Obviously, the Mayans would be off limits. Uh, I don't know. That would make that would add a layer of difficulty to it. Well, yeah, it would add a layer of difficulty. But I mean, it, if it were in the mines, it would have to be just the mines because then it would be way harder. Fair. All right, coming back from the wood gathering session I just did. Let's see how Ross is coming along. Hello. Obviously, we have a lot of detailing to do. Oh yeah, tons. I mean, just got some of this ready. Hmm. No, I'm thinking like at this block level right here. This is where we put the floor for the next. Well, but like, what about the, the uh, what about the window? Oh, uh. Do, we'll oh, you know, like we we can have like a banister right here. Just so it's like overlooking the room. Oh, yeah, I guess. That, that would that would help with that issue. No, 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 no. Oh, hang on a minute. What does love feel? What does it feel like? One minute. What? Hey! Wow. <sighs> okay. I saw it dripping. I had to. <laughs> oh, uh, for the viewers, we're heading this way to get to a uh, quarry that I made a while back for terracotta. We're making floors. We're flooring. We're, we're gonna floor. We're gonna floor the floor. Yes. Oh! Oh yes! I, I just got... Nice. <laughs> that was my first shot too. Okay, Damn that was a horrible one. I didn't kill him, but I hit him. Look at them looking at us, as if they have a chance. Okay, keep missing. There we go. It only takes one shot from this thing, which is nice, but I can't seem to hit that one shot most of the time. So, there we go. Up here they come. Oh no, they're Maybe. coming. <laughs> Watch out. And just throw my Not only can they not get up the mountain, they can't get in the, the building. <laughs> I'll leave them to you. I'll keep placing. Alright, we've gotten a bit of progress done. Thought we'd show you guys around before we got off for the night. So, Ross right. is messing with the big gate. Sorry. We still have a lot of detailing work to do on the outside, but we're just focusing on getting the main layout right now, I think. Right. Would you this like is... to lead the way? Sure. This is more of a rough outline. So this, just the entrance, kind of a receiving area, what is going to be a very tall courtyard and possibly maybe like a lava trap up there to fuck up intruders, I don't know. Maybe like mimicking the hot oil thing. We can move on. Uh, we got a little bit of an entry, kind of foyer, bigger space. We're planning on adding a roof in here and some yes. armor stands on the sides, maybe some paintings. Yeah. 
been a hallway. So we got a tower in there, but we're not gonna look at that real quick for now. I've, I've made the floor look nice, but we don't have to oh, show right. it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. Didn't mean to diminish your, diminish your thing. Yeah, I didn't we do have all this. the towers yet though. Yes. It's not quite finished. We have a single pillar ready. We have yeah, we a still have to finish. Room. Yeah. We have a table, no chairs. We have a place where we're gonna put a stained glass window. Yeah. And the chandelier, we're still not totally certain on it. I think it looks okay, yeah. but there's something off with the shape. Erroneous actually did the ceiling, and it looks really nice. I was trying. It, it, it hurt me to not count blocks as I was placing it. So moving on, or not? God damn it! I'll do left. You do right. Okay. Okay. So we got. You didn't close the door. Oh, yeah, there's another tower Over. there. Stairs up to a sort of balcony. We have a suicide ledge. Yeah. We can move on. Uh, we have a soon-to-be second floor. Yeah, we're planning on decorating the stairway with paintings and stuff before yeah, so before we're finished. I, I really don't like the stairs being the same color and the same block type as the wall, so we gotta do something. I, th I think you'll be fine with it once we get the uh, paintings in. We shall see. Maybe add some stairs embedded in the walls so they have some uh, like handrail almost. Yeah, yeah, this is going really to be the yeah. second floor. Plenty of space underneath for me to run we some redstone. We and ran out of terracotta. Yeah, there's actually a hole right here so we can get down to have even an item train taking stuff from the from underground up to the top here and back. So if we want to have some sort of automatic processing unit that um, takes stuff up and down. Uh, did you fall in? No, I was tweaking. Do a quick flyby. Definitely yeah, shaping up can. to look I'm pretty nice. Yeah, I can't get a good view on it while still f flying. Definitely need to texture the outside some with like broken, oh, with, yeah. like Cobbles cracks and fences. Yeah. And this is just the castle. We yeah. Didn't even start on the town. Yeah, we're planning on having like a uh, sort of garden area here with a river flowing down and a watchtower to keep an eye on the pesky pillagers over there. <laughs> Oh wait. Then uh, we were thinking the river could flow up. down off here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of make a little <coughs> pond down there mm -hmm. where people can fuck, I don't know, wash their clothes. And then we were going to build a mining based town right here because we built that mine that I showed you earlier. We haven't done much. Excuse Didn't me. happen. <laughs> we haven't done much in the way of uh, getting into there because it's uh, you know, not, be not something that we're working on heavily right now. But then over here, there are some rivers. I was thinking we could extend this river over to the ocean and have that be like the main uh, the main road to get to and from. The castle just coming up here and then traveling over here. We lightly marked this pathway with uh, path blocks. Right? So much lag right now. Dude, I I want them to add like a kind of phantom boss where if you don't sleep for like 20 days, there's just this big ass phantom that comes out of the sky and wrecks your shit. <laughs> Alright, well, Ross is working on the rest of this. I think he's off getting flowers for some uh, terracotta. I'm going to try and make a special type of furnace. It's not going to be anything terribly fast, but I'm hoping that it will be pretty cool looking at least. So the idea is I'll have a furnace here that when you throw an item on top of it will be automatically smelted and then popped out to you. I'm not sure why it's kind of useless, but I thought it would be pretty funny. So I'm going to try it out. Alright, so the basics of it is the item that gets thrown on there gets picked up by a hopper minecart that's going to go right here. And that hopper will pull it into the furnace. going to have fuel come in here. Not sure how yet, but I'll get it in there. 
Actually, it would probably be easiest to have that come in on this side, because this is where my redstone slot is. And then the items will be taken into this drop evader and elevated back up. So now I just need to hook up the clock and give it some fuel and it should be good to go. Oh, uh, I do need to put the minecart in there as well, but that's, that's pretty quick. A slight snag. It doesn't seem that minecarts with hoppers will pick things up through furnaces because the furnace is an inventory above it. So going to have to do something different there. Idea. What if I used a magma block instead of a furnace for that? For what? Um... You can't just say for that and instead of no talking about For that furnace thing that I'm working on. Because I can't put a furnace on top of it apparently because it thinks, oh I should pull stuff out of the furnace because that's what hoppers do. Which makes total sense, but... I don't know how it works or where you're putting things. If you think it'll work, I'm on board. This is full of terracotta. I'll have to do some mining here to see what I find. Uh, I'd rather you didn't mine next to my base. Oh, I'm not talking about mining next to your base. I'm talking about mining your base. Yeah, no. Alright, so now we've got it working. You throw the stuff that you want smelted up there. Say I want, you know, four stone. And then it gets pulled down as if it's being cooked on the cooktop. And when it's done, it comes out the bottom. Although right now it's going to take a while because I'm cooking up a bunch of charcoal to put in the back. Yay, smooth stone. There was one from earlier when Ross threw a piece of stone in. He then threw the stone in again, made smooth stone, then threw that, and again and broke the system, so... <sighs> There's the last one. And now I'm going to throw more wood in to make more charcoal for this thing. And temporarily, I think I'm going to put a barrel here. It seems that I forgot to record an outro. Sorry about that. Well, as always, guys, if you liked it, uh, please consider leaving a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike or just don't like it. I don't care which. If you really enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing. But other than that, have a nice one, guys. See you all in the next one. Thank you.